Hi, Happy New Year. Today uh, I want to talk to you guys about a new book I got in November um, called Villette. Uh, it's by Charlotte Bronte. This is the Penguin English Library edition, I think, and I got it partly because I'd heard about it before and partly because I thought the cover was really pretty um, and the spine is also really cool as well. It was a really interesting book, so I'm going to go into a bit more detail about what I thought about it. Often acclaimed as her greatest and most mature work, Charlotte Bronte's last, most autobiographical novel drew on her own unhappy experiences as a governess in Brussels to create a powerful study of unrequited love. Lucy Snow is alone, without friends or family. When she sets sail from England to find work at a girls' boarding school in the town of Villette, she struggles with unruly pupils and with her own troubling passions, first for the school's English doctor and then for dictatorial professor Paul Emmanuel. So, this book was very different from what I expected. From reading the blurb, I didn't expect it to be as melancholy as this book is. Um, not to give you too many spoilers, um, but I was kind of... I wasn't disappointed by the end of the book, but I was shocked by the end of the book. It didn't go the way that I thought it was going to go. Um, it kind of teases you into thinking that it's going to go there, and then it doesn't quite go there. I think I gave it three out of five stars on Goodreads, which I don't know whether that's harsh or not because I haven't rated enough books to be able to judge. I found I was always waiting for the climax of this book and it never quite came. Um, I found that it kept a level um, but that it never really wavered too far up or down from that so it was quite a melancholy read uh, is how I'd describe it. The main character Lucy Snow really frustrated me for many reasons. One of the main reasons was that there was this massive difference um, which was pointed out between Catholics and Protestants and it was this massive divide between uh, two of the characters in the book but I found that uh, with Lucy Snow it was the way that she expressed herself and the way that you saw her not let herself feel emotions for some reason really frustrated me. It constantly kept taking me out of being engaged with the story because I would get so frustrated with the character. The other thing that really frustrated me about her was that she kept wanting these friendships and feeling very lonely and wanting to feel passionate but then not letting herself um, and she could never really fully engage in those friendships because of it. It was kind of like she had this idea of herself that was completely uh, disengaged from the reality of her. I found the one thing I really did like about the book was the writing style um, and in particular the descriptions of how the character thinks and her imagination. My calm little room seemed somehow like a cave in the sea. There was no colour about it except that white and pale green suggestive of foam and deep water. Even that one touch of colour visible in the red satin pincushion bore affinity to coral. Even that dark, shining glass might have mirrored a mermaid. When I closed my eyes, I heard a gale subsiding at last, bearing upon the house front like a settling swell upon a rock base. I heard it drawn and withdrawn, far, far off, like a tide retiring from a shore of the upper world, a world so high above that the rush of its largest waves, the dash of its fiercest breakers, could sound down in the submarine home, only like murmurs and a lullaby. So this imaginative writing style kind of continues throughout the book and it bears a reference to the ending as well, but without spoiling this 160-year-old book, um, I won't say much more than that. So there's also quite a lot of French phrases in this book um, and I'm currently trying to learn French so it was challenging for that. Some of them were, were fine and then some of them I really had to use the footnotes. It's quite handy because at the back they go through all of the places which they use French and they translate it um, so and that's all kept at the back of the book. I found that really useful. Um, but it was also good to try and translate it myself and then I could see how close I got. Um, so if you're learning French, go for it. The other interesting thing about this book was the culture and the society that it's set in um, and the character kind of goes between two worlds. It's kind of not really described where she came from um, other than something happened and she went to go and live with her godmother um, and from then on we see her journey through the world by herself and try and get the best life for herself that she can um, and she does that by caring for an old woman and then going on to be a, a governess or a teacher. I think the fact that she's also travelling alone in the world creates this defensiveness in her that makes her even more closed than she otherwise would be. So I think 
that's also a good question to ask about this book. The emotions that we expect from women, and in particular female characters, do we put more weight on our female characters showing emotions? And when they don't, do we do we think that there's something wrong with them? Or do we think that that story is not particularly well written? Or um, is it something more than that? Uh, I don't know. These are just thoughts that I'm, I'm having right now. The fact that Lucy Snow is narrating this book um, to us almost and the fact that she doesn't trust anyone else really in the story it kind of leads to the question does she trust us as an audience and then therefore is she telling us what she's really feeling? Is there like another layer that is kind of hidden underneath that. I mean, overall, I enjoyed reading this book. It was an experience I hadn't had before. Um, I think that I would probably reread it uh, in maybe a year or so. I think that it raises valid questions about how we see female characters and how we assume they should be showing their emotion or whether they should be showing emotion at all. Let me know if you've read this book. Let me know what you think. I'd be really interested to have a conversation about how other people found the characters in this book, in particular Lucy Snow. Um, so yeah, until the next video, bye! <laughs>